In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of enabling and disabling controls on a form. Now, you're going to have forms where you're going to have some controls that you want to be disabled. That is, you don't want the user to interact with those controls. There could be lots of reasons why. One reason could be the form is informational. You don't want the user to edit or be able to change anything on the form. Also, another reason it could be that the, the user didn't meet some sort of requirement for this particular control to be enabled. So, let's just take a real quick look at this. I've got two buttons here one is enabled and one is disabled it's pretty self-explanatory when I uh, play the form I can click the button that's enabled but I can't click the one that's disabled same thing with text boxes I can actually go into a text box and type on an enabled text box but a disabled text box I cannot now when you put a fresh form or a fresh control on a form it comes in as enabled by default when you right click on the control go to properties there's a tab here called data in that tab there's a property called enabled it's always set to yes initially you can actually set that to no and then it becomes disabled from there you can do the same thing with a button or even another control for example you can do the same thing with a, a combo box right click on it properties data enabled no it becomes disabled. Now imagine you have a nice looking form here that's purely informational in nature, but you've got this blink ugly blinking cursor here in this text box for some reason. Or worse yet, you have this uh, text in the text box being highlighted. Well, you can actually stop this behavior by setting these particular text boxes to disabled simply go to the design view and you can either select one text box or you can highlight them all right click on them hit properties and then enabled we're gonna say no okay now you'll notice if you hit the enable, enable no these things turn to gray well that might be okay but uh, sometimes you want the actual text box to look like a regular text box you just don't want them to be able to be clicked on so you can actually do something else you can actually let's go highlight, highlight them again enable no locked yes when you hit locked yes you'll notice they turn back to white does that mean you can actually click on them no it actually locks you out but at least you don't get the gray text boxes another thing you can do is enable or disable controls programmatically at runtime so for example I've got two buttons here a button that will enable a control and a button that will disable a control so let's just go ahead and pop something on here real quick let's make it an option group and we'll just create a couple of options here yes no maybe and then hit finish okay so I've got an option group here I'm gonna right click on it go to properties the name of this option group I'm just gonna say my option okay so now I've got a, an option group called my option so what I wanna do is say when I click on this button this becomes disabled when I click on this button it becomes enabled okay so I'm gonna double click on the disabled button go to event on the event procedure I'm just gonna type in real quick me my option which is the, na the name of the control enabled equals false that's pretty much it close that out do the same thing for enabled except what I'm gonna do is say me my option enabled equals true okay now when I click it disable it it becomes disabled enable it it becomes enabled another way you can use this enable disable functionality is to serve as a checkpoint for criteria on a form so for example I've got a form here with a text box that says it must be over 10 if it's over 10 I can hit the submit button and send this data somewhere else if it's less than 10 though I want the submit button to become disabled so I can't hit the submit button so what I can do is right click on this text box properties event tab on click oh, I'm sorry. Uh, after update is actually what I want after update I wanna say do a check if me my text box which is the text box name value is less than 10 then 
me my button enabled equals false else enabled equals true very simple so it's basically doing an if statement saying listen if it's less than 10 make the button fa uh, enabled false which is disabled else make it enabled true which is enabled nope gotta finish it off with an end if and let's go ahead and test it out okay under 10 7 oh it's disabled so I know that I can't hit submit it says it must be over 10 so let's just put 11 here Oh, now it's, I can hit submit. So as you can see with this enabled and disabled functionality, Access gives you the ability to uh, get more control around what your objects look like on your form.